What's going on Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical and today we're going to do a review video on a couple different drop leg holsters. The first one's going to be the Safari Land 6004 uh, single strap, single shroud drop leg and the next one's going to be the Alien Gear uh, drop leg holster. This is my buddy Hans here and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of talk about the, uh, the benefits, the negatives about them and what we like about them most of all. The Safari Land 6427 model is a single strap leg shroud with a drop flex adapter receiver plate and it's an add-on for the Safari Land holster. It allows quick transfer of holsters and accessories from thigh carry to other mounting locations. It includes a QLS22 receiver plate which is to be used with a holster that already has a QLS19 locking fork attached. The DFA replaces the standard vertical leg strap and raises the height of the system on the thigh for increased stability. The single strap high plate provides for a low profile carry. The DFA accepts belt widths between two and two and a quarter inches. So as far as the Safari Land, what I really like about it, one is it's a, it's a medium to high drop, which I don't like a low drop. Uh, this particular one has three different settings, but you know, it can move about an inch here and there, but it's never gonna get that far down the leg. I have short legs, short arms, so I'm kind of screwed if it's down here where a lot of drop legs are so I like it here uh, it's still got enough clearance for my kit to be able to get in and out um, and all of that so I like I like the height of it it's it can be more up high you can adjust it like right here you can adjust take this out and you can drop it through this part right here you can drop it an inch high or inch low it's on the it's in the middle section right now which is gonna be good for me but mostly I like um, I like the comfort of it with the one leg strap. I don't like the two leg straps. It's got, got one to where it's going to keep it tight to your side when you're running and you're moving and all of that. Uh, the one thing about this is kind of like the Alien Gear. It attaches with the QLS, the quick locking system. Um, and it's got the female end on this. It attaches really easily. And as long as you've got a holster that's got the three uh, holes in it, you can attach this male side to any holster you like. And this, this actual drop leg will fit with any holster that you've got this male in. So if you've got four or five different guns and holsters that you want to be able to run, it's real simple. It just slides right in and you're good to go. With this, you can run multiple different holsters. And these, these QLS plates, they run like 15 bucks. So they're not going to break the bank if... Um, if you want to put another one on a different holster so it can you can put it inside your dashboard or whatever click it in whatever you want to do these qls plates are really really good um, as far as the drawbacks go right now the only thing that's a drawback and maybe there is one out there i haven't found one yet and i haven't seen one doesn't mean it's not out there but the only thing that i wish i had instead of having this where it has to feed through your belt i would wish they had something that would just clip onto your belt where you can just take it off clip it on um, if that's the worst thing I had to do. The Alien Gear Shapeshift Drop Leg Holster is the next evolution of open carry. Built with durable polymer and comfortable straps, the new drop leg is prepared to take your tactical carry to a whole new level. As a product of thoughtful design, the all-new drop leg holster is fully compatible with the entire Shapeshift modular holster system. This drop leg holster is designed with customizable ride height, allowing you to position your holster right where your hand naturally rests. This level 2 retention holster also includes an adjustable passive retention unit and a removable thumb release so you can personalize your draw style in seconds. As an added bonus, adjustable cant is available in 12 degrees increments up to 360 degrees. What I do like about the holster is the, the retention in it, uh, the release on it. This is a straight put, push button down. Um, used to have a toggle, it had to slide one way or the other to get it to release. That one is just pushed straight down. So it's real natural when you come down, you're already hitting the button. Multi positional on it so you can take it off it's got the cam on it so you can really position it any direction you want whether you want the gun straight up and down you want some cant to it however whatever works for you uh, it's got its own locking mechanism in there 
and that works with any holster that you have for the alien gear setup. A couple of things I don't like about it, um, the belt loops. Um, don't particularly care for how they attach to the belt. Um, they're sewn together, so you literally have to run your belt through it. It doesn't clip on or anything like that. Um, you can see the bands on here. I uh, actually had to safety pin the strap so that it would stay in place because as you run, move with it, these would loosen up, your gun's going farther and farther down your leg, then you're starting to reach for your gun. That's not what you want to be doing when you're up and moving and going, trying to get, get a uh, secondary weapon into, uh, into the action. All right, so guys, like I said, these are two great options. They're about the same price and all that. You know, Links will be in the description down below if you're looking for either one of these. What I like about both the Alien Gear and the Safari Land is you can run different holsters with the attachment, however you attach with the quick lock system or the Alien Gear. You can run different holsters to attach that drop leg. They're, they're both going to give you adjustable heights, whether it's a lot of adjustability or a little bit, however you want to run. But more importantly, if you're going to run a kit or anything like that, a drop leg is a great option for training, for law enforcement, for anything that you're going to have to do that you're going to have to worry about stuff around your waist. Whether you like Alien Gear or Safari Land, like I said, they're both going to be good. But if you're looking for a drop leg, I can't recommend these any more than I already have. They're both great. It just depends on what you're looking for. So guys, get out there, be more proficient with your firearms, get to the range, get some training in you. Take someone new out to the range and make sure they're proficient with their firearms, and we'll see you soon. Simplify.